I've been rolling around in the dirt underneath this truck, crawling over the top of it in my off time, just kind of tinkering with it in between working on the crew cab in the shop, covered in dust from sanding and bondo work from inside. But like I said, I just come out here and work on this truck here and there, trying to get the brakes functional, trying to get the clutch functional. It's a, it's a stick shift. Doesn't quite find five, it's only got the four. But let me introduce you to my new dump truck. 1970 D500. I'll have to go and check the license plate to see when this thing was last on the road. But at some point in the last, since it was built, it had a mild restoration. Fenders look great. Hood looked great until I saw some bubbling and took the screwdriver to it and wrinkled it right open. Floors, they've been covered up with some nice floors. So we got that going for us. 318, four speed, it's two wheel drive, whatever. It's gonna sound ridiculous. I got this truck in a trade deal. I traded a 1969 RT Dodge Charger for this truck and, uh, and a Hemi. That Hemi will come in back into play at some other point in some future. But anyway, I'm gonna walk around this truck a little bit, show it to you guys, and we're gonna see if we can get it running and driving today. Like I said, I've been tinkering with it, so I already, I already put some fuel lines in it. Jump pack sitting there. Might have ran over the ladder a second ago, but let me show you the truck. All right, let's take it in. I like the newer style hoods, but I kind of like the old style. I'm, I'm in between. Let me know what you think. But just taking a quick glance at it, I've seen this truck several times. I knew that the, the doors looked mint and the fenders just looked beautiful. Hood was good. Except for that spot where the screwdriver found that it wasn't good. A couple spots in there, but for 1970. Whew. The spots on the cab right there, I went ahead and popped those open. I didn't want them holding water during the winter time. They were just bubbling the paint just a little bit. But I think it's got a gotta be a 14-foot dump bed on this old girl. Let's see if there's a license plate back here. Nope, ain't nothing back here. Okay, we don't know what year is last on the road. Hydraulic tank right there. We'll save opening the hood until we open the hood. Let's look at this side. That is actually an auxiliary fuel tank. How do I know? Because I already explored it a little bit. It's got the little auxiliary fuel tank switch we're gonna leave it where it's at because i know that that one's working for this one so we're gonna leave that be but look at the interior steps look nice it's got a uh, slab over floor pan which is fine i don't i don't think this is a high dollar truck but the dash is mint it's got a roof or it's got the screws through it that's nice oh man look at the seat though door cards maybe under the seat okay Let's go ahead and pop the hood on it. So when I got this truck and went to go pick it up, said I could bring my little trailer. That, I'm glad I took the big trailer because this thing barely fit on there. But he said we could just drive it on there. I said, oh, it runs? He says, yeah. I ran and drove it around the yard. I said, oh, cool. When was that? He said, oh, five years ago. I'm like, well, let's just winch it on there. So we winched it and pulled it on the skid steer. So, he said it had a 318 in it. I thought, that's kind of funny. Being this big of a truck, 318. They did some weird stuff back in the day. Although they ran 5.9 Cummins for a long time, and that's technically only a 360, so a 6.7 is, what do you do the math on that? Pretty small, yeah. But that diesel power goes a little bit further. But I ran the numbers. Apparently this thing came with a straight six. And I got excited. But then I realized they didn't have Cummins back then. So, it doesn't have a straight six in it anymore. Now, I don't know much about this particular engine, other than it's a V8 and runs on gasoline, okay? It's weird, it's got a new fuel filter on it, huh? Must have just happened. But I know if this is a 318, it is huge for a 318. So I crawled around on the side of the block and everything and ran some numbers. It's 318. Normal 318. 
slightly bigger 318, whatever. Somebody said it could be a poly 318, which is some wee little bit level of a Hemi. I don't know. But let's go ahead and dump some gasoline in this old girl. And see if we can get something to happen. What in that? What is this? That looks interesting. Is that thing melting? That's scary. Okay. Almost looked like the uh, guts to the computer were falling out. Via heat. I don't like that. We don't really care for the tank inside the cab either. But we're going to use it. thing I find really funny is they, they don't like these jokes anymore. You know, the people that think that's killing the environment. One dirt bike jug at a time. But you can still sit, like buy these at Tractor Supply. They just don't label them gas jugs. Liquid jokes. Something like that. This will be the second five gallon jug I put in there. I'm guessing if this thing runs, it's going to use fuel quickly. If it runs. All right. Ugh. Make sure. Make sure she's in neutral before I hook up any power to it. You know what I mean? Battery says 2018. That's about as good as the license plate, right? Six years. So I guess, well, my buddy said he hasn't ran it in five years since he got it. Seems pretty accurate. Okay. Okay, you guys ready for the secret? I've messed with this truck for 35 minutes probably total, you know, wrench time on it. I cut the fuel line at the tank to see if the thing drained out. Ran pressure into the tank trying to pressurize anything out. Nothing came out. Okay. Tank was bone dry. Nothing came out anyway. So I put a new fuel line on it with a filter at the bottom of the tank. Bypassed that other auxiliary switch ran a new fuel filter right at the carb that was after i already started it with uh my little jug of gasoline over there in a retired water bottle so this is ridiculous single barrel carb watch So 
I somewhat kind of bled the clutch. I went back and forth. I had a long board pushing, there's my board right there, pushing on the clutch pedal because my bleeder, it just pushing and pulling and not holding pressure. Uh, it's annoying. So I'm gonna nurse this thing over to the slab, but I wanna see if the dump unit works. It's got a PTO legit unit. The dump bed works. And it's PTO, so if you rev it up, it translates to faster dumping. This thing's badass. I think. Would a charger fit on there? It should. I'm gonna get the jump pack again. Yeah, I got the old jump scooter hooked back up. If you hook it up 24 volt, you turn stuff on without the key on. So go do that. Check this out. Okay. Oil pressure, temp, alternator, and fuel. Oh, I wonder. It's all internal. That's kind of neat. Okay. Oh, it's got a radio? What's this here? What is this? I can't read it. It's missing part of his letters. Emergency flashers, okay. There's wipers, lights. No one's got a choke. What's this here? Well, I don't worry about that. Wait a second. Okay, so some of these rigs, while you're cranking, it doesn't give it ignition. You know what I mean? So watch. Yeah. Look at that bolt. So all that cranking I did earlier was for nothing. Because watch here. As soon as you let off and it's turning over. Uh oh. Something got hot. What the hell was that? Okay. Okay. We're back in action. Uh, there's definitely something funny with the ignition like i was showing you it only wants to get a spark when you let off the starter whatever that's about but let me show you the inside of this gem oil pressure that works uh when i hit the pto on that light comes on why do we have two of those i wonder if that fit in the other truck oh shit I got one for a lawnmower on there. Could have used that one. Brand new. Some of the stuff that I was missing. It's got the blue plate. Nice. Mirror. Engine mount. There's my door card for at least one side. I don't know what those are, but... Big staler. When people said I needed to get a aftermarket heater box air condition for the swept line so it would be less bulky look how those are the factory one stuck down is all bulky but i can't believe that that freaking revs up but look at this oh the light don't come on now oh man had me excited then you pull on this. Pretty cool. Okay. Can't believe the accelerator pump works. Oh, nice tall clutch. 
that's a compound gear. This is the first swept well, I drove the other crew cab, but my first swept line experience. Mirrors are looking at me, those are no help. Girl's got a mechanical trailer brake. Wonder if that's where our leak is. It's coming in here. Okay. High beams are on. Well, right turn came on. Left turn. Let's see if they're flashing. There's no way. There's no way. The lights are on. <laughs> Those are reflectors. We got any magic back here? No magic. Oh, we got cab lights. That one turned into a fish tank. We got moisture. Damn. Let's try that one. Let's see if we got any lights coming to the back half. Nothing. No turns. I can't believe how well this thing's running. We got headlights. You could get home if you needed to. Terrific. up here and one of them on the floor. Look at that. Okay. I hear a noise. How do you operate this? like the rest of these. That's fine. Temperature's starting to come up. Unbelievable. Well, let's swap out this Model 2018 battery for a 2020 out of Grandma's truck. I don't drive grandma's truck anymore. Doesn't fit. I need a bungee on that, to be honest. Always remember your rubber, unless you want to turn your clone factory on. Rubbers are scary sometimes. Okay, let's see the fire back up. Yes, 
this ignition's figuring itself out. I'm gonna pull it forward so that I can get the uh, stuff out of the back. Then we'll take it for a drive. We got it. I don't know. I think you can almost put the tractor on the truck. My grandpa had one of these rigs. It was a Ford. I think they rebuilt the engine and they never even ran the truck. But I think one of my dad's brothers might have actually hauled his uh, half that size of a Kubota on the back of it. He had big old 4x12s or something for ramps. But let's go drive this thing without further ado. A seat belt hanging out? Pretty sure it just got lap belts in this thing. I don't know when Dodge came out with. The... Yeah, I don't got shit up there. I got that moisture. I ripped the carpet out. Get rid of that moisture. Okay. I don't have any brake fluid. I don't have anybody help break the brakes. We don't even have the parking brake on. We're just sitting here in gear. Come on, baby. We're just going to nurse this thing up the hill. Go through the gears. Well, apparently that new battery woke the ignition up. Pressure up there. Glad the tires are somewhat flat. We got a smooth ride. You can tell by the way my hood's bouncing. Second gear is like first step. Okay, now this is where we can't miss it. Go on Doug Hill by the house. doing it. We got a stash up here with the forts. I cannot believe. It. Oh my god. We're gonna put the camera down. Okay, we're gonna nurse it over here. All right, brake or clutch works good. Okay, we'll hit a tree if anything. Oh, right in the reverse. I can't make that. We gotta go forward somewhere. Got you guys on defrost move. Oh, wow. No wonder why they could do something with five horsepower engines back then. It's in lower than four level right now, I swear. The mirror is a piece of scaffolding out there. There we go. Simply unbelievable. Nice. Ran and drove. Brakes did not work at all. And check this out. We're starting to do a little bit of leaking on our clutch master. And it looks like somebody swapped that out because it's still has a sticker on it. Looks like it's leaking out the top. Maybe just the gasket. I mean, I didn't tighten the bolt. Either way, we need somebody actually here to just push the pedals for me so I can actually get something done because it's just too time consuming. But I wanted to get the, that rig up out of the way. Got my new lot that I'm in store and stuff. Man, every one of these things was not running and driving. 
I got it. Some of them still aren't. That thing, trailered at home. That thing, not running yet. That thing, did trailer it, but it ran kinda. Didn't run, didn't run, no engine yet currently in it. But it's kinda neat to see them get life breathed back into them a little bit. So, thank you guys for watching. We're gonna end it here. I, I enjoyed this one. For a video I didn't actually plan on filming anything, it's pretty cool. See you guys in the next one. Later.